Hello, Mr. Vijay. Hello. Mr. Vijay, some people are stuck in past only. How to move on from the past? Yeah, uh, you know, that's a very beautiful question. Uh, so people, you know, who think negative, what happens is they are, their mind is stuck for a very simple reason that the negative event, you know, that they have foregone in their life, the same event, you know, it keeps uh, hitting their head again and again and again. So I'll give you a very beautiful example. Sure. Uh, as for how is it possible for someone to come out, you know, from their past and then move on in your lives? So what happens is there's a person named Jack. Okay. And what he does is he goes to a very reputed, uh, very senior counselor. And he says, Deborah has left me. Huh. Yeah. So he keeps saying the same thing. He says, Deborah has left me. Can you do something? And he says, I'm really very down because Deborah has left me. Deborah is the lady. Yes. So it is probably, you know, his girlfriend and then she has left him. Now what happens is uh, the reputed senior counselor, he is trying to identify his problem and uh, he finds out that Deborah is already married. So hmm. he cannot do anything much because she's already married and this guy is stuck in the past. Yes. Yeah. So the fact is he goes and then, you know, he explains him and then no matter how much ever, you know, he tries to explain uh, this guy, you know, he keeps uh, telling the same thing. He says, Deborah has left me. You're a very reputed uh, senior counselor. And then you need to do something. <laughs> yeah. So the fact is, no matter how much ever he explains, he goes back to the same line again and again. And then he says, Deborah has left me and you need to do something. So what happens is this guy, I'm talking about the reputed senior counselor. He says, okay, why don't you come down to my home? Uh, for 30 minutes, I'll counsel you and I'll make sure that uh, you are coming out from your past and then you are off from your problems. And then this guy is very happy. He goes back home and then the next day he goes to the counselor's home and then he sits there. Okay. So what happens is uh, as soon as you know, he goes, he sits there. What he says is, I'm going to play a music for you. You just have to listen to this music. It's only for 30 minutes. And he says, trust me, this is going to change your life. So he does not believe. And then he plays the music, like he opens the laptop and then he plays the music. So the song, you know, it starts, it says, everything I do, I do it for you. So it's a very beautiful song of Brian Adams. Yeah. So this line, you know, keeps repeating again and again and again. So again, you know, it says, Everything I do, I do it for you. Again, everything I do, I do it. For you. I do it for you. Now this guy, you know, he is listening, and after five minutes, he gets furious. He gets agitated. He thinks, "What's wrong with this guy? He's playing the same line again and again and again, and it's only one line." I and then you know he is amazed and he is confused as well. That what's wrong, you know, with this counselor. And he also starts thinking in his mind that uh, did I come here for counseling or did something happen to this uh, reputed counselor? <laughs> so he keeps listening to this and post 10 minutes, this guy gets wild. He stands and then he goes to the laptop and straight away, you know, what he does is he deletes that file. He presses a button called control alt and then delete. He deletes the file and then, you know, he very furiously looks at the reputed counselor and then he says, are you crazy? You're playing the same line again and again and again. For the first five minutes, I was wondering what's going on, but I couldn't take it. And then later on, I just felt that enough is enough. And he says, trust me, this file is corrupted. And it's for the same reason I have used control alt and delete and then I have deleted this file. Okay. So immediately, you know, the senior counselor looks at him and then he says that for 10 minutes, you were not able to take the same line. That is everything I do. I do it for you. And then just imagine and see that the sad lines, you know, that are singing in your head. The Deborah has left me. Deborah has left me. Just imagine and see what should, what is that you're expecting from me? What is that you want me to do for that? 
because what you have to understand is just like you know this particular file which got corrupted so sometimes you know your mind gets stuck with a negative event which you have undergone in your past so it all depends because some of them you know they have a law failure yes and then there are some people they would have miserably failed you know in their examinations you also come across some people they would have started business and then they're not doing well they incur heavy losses you also find employees who are highly ambitious but they are not doing that well in their lives so what you have to understand is universal power you know they always try to test the patience of an individual oh and we shouldn't worry a lot so just like the control alt and delete whatever negative experiences that you have undergone in your life in the past you just have to take it off you know from your head because understand that if you keep thinking about the problems in the past that's going to eat away your present time and that in turn will have an impact on your future as well okay so we need to do that so what you have to understand is why do you want to waste you know the precious human energy on things that cannot be changed and not channelizing it on things you know that can be changed so don't waste your energy what has happened has already happened i'll give you another example suppose say an employee is fired from a company so when he comes out now there are two ways you know you can look at this particular problem so one is this employee is fired so he feels agitated he feels furious and then he also gets depressed that i've worked in this company for many years and then the boss has fired me but instead what you can do is when you are fired when you create a belief system in your head okay. that no matter you know whatever it is you have fired me in future and I'm, i'm going to become someone you know really very big and when you start believing yourself that you're going to make it really very big and if you can derive an inspiration out of the negative events you know that you are overcoming in your life then that will give you immense uh, strength oh great that will definitely you know give you immense strength courage and then the confidence as well as will power to be someone so take a resolution nagraj that people you know who made you cry in the past you're not going to waste your precious energy crying for them anymore but instead you're going to be someone really you know very big someone you know very popular in your life that the people who left you in the past should actually feel for you in the future so that is the courage and then the confidence and then the They'll will that we need future. to have definitely they will miss you in the future and for that you know you need to really work for it so remember past is past we are not going to get back the past future is not in our hands but the present is the present you know which is gifted by the god so we need to make the best optimal utilization of the present time and i'll end you know this particular uh, video with a very beautiful quote of cs lewis sure wherein you know he says that you cannot go back to the past and then start from the beginning instead what you can do is you can start from wherever you are right now and change the ending great words thank you thank you mr vijay thank, thank you so much thanks a lot